Guinea fowl are an amazing bird to add to your backyard flock, but there are also a lot of cons to adding guinea fowl. They do make pretty loud noises and they also are known for wandering. Now, if you have a lot of acres, they're definitely going to take on wandering across all of it. But if you live in an urban, a suburban setting like us, that can be a problem because we have neighbors and there's also a lot of woods around. So there's a lot of predators out there. So one way that you can actually keep them more contained is by clipping their wings. And we're going to jump into how you can actually trim the wings of your guinea fowl today. Before getting into the steps of how to actually trim your guinea fowl wings, I did want to quickly talk to you about some of the pros of guinea fowls because we actually love them so much on our homestead and for so many different reasons. Our original reason for getting guinea fowl was the fact that they can eat around a thousand ticks per day, which is insane. And I've definitely noticed a really large difference in the amount of ticks on our property. We're in the northeast of the U.S. and there's a lot of deer ticks around this area as well as just ticks in general. And now we really don't have as many. Our dogs used to come in with ticks all the time and now they rarely do. So that is a huge win. I know chickens will also eat ticks, but they, guinea fowl really eat a lot of them. They're also really great because they can be a good source of both eggs and meat. Their meat is going to be more of a gamey bird taste similar to a pheasant and their eggs are honestly pretty similar to a medium to large size brown chicken egg. So really great sources of meat and food for your homestead, which is amazing. And another great pro of guinea fowl is the fact that they do make pretty loud noises, which can be hard if you have neighbors that are close. But for the most part, we live in a pretty like backed up area from the main road and our guinea fowl really only make noises to alert us when there's like predators around or a someone driving down our driveway. So it is really nice to have them. And we've seen that they have actually protected our flock similar to a rooster protecting all of his hens. The guinea fowl will make large, loud sounds whenever they see a hawk flying around or a predator in the area and all the hens will just run into the coop. It usually alarms our dogs to bark and then we'll go out and kind of check on them. So We've had a lot of great success with guinea fowl and trimming their wings is just one part of their upkeep and it really isn't that bad and not something that you have to do that often. It is really windy outside so I'm going to try to go through all the steps inside so there isn't just crazy wind over the voice right now but we are going to show you a little bit of what the process looks like as well so fear not but the first step of trimming your guinea fowl's wings is going to be actually catching your guinea fowl and this can be quite hard because they're not usually a people person type bird so usually what we'll do is we'll lock them in our run and one by one collect them and then once we go through we'll let let them go free range again. Try not to make too stressful of a situation here. This isn't great for them to have high stress, but honestly, trying to be caught is not their favorite thing as well. And you can usually try to lure them in with food, which make make the process a lot easier. Once you've actually caught your guinea fowl, the next step is identifying the primary feathers. These are the feathers that allow your guinea fowl to have flight. So it's going to be really important to find these. The third step is going to be actually trimming the feathers. So you're going to want to go ahead and pull out your guinea fowl's wings that make them so that they are fully extended and you're going to go ahead and clip the primary feathers. We'll do this on one side of the bird making sure that everything looks good. We also go all the way up so we will clip into the line of the shortest feathers and clip along that so that you know the exact height. You don't want to cut it too short so that they can't retain their balance and then what we're going to do is just make sure that everything looks good, that the bird seems happy, and then we're going to go ahead and the last step of the process is going to be to trim the other set of feathers. So you're going to do exactly the same thing, opening up the windspan of your bird, clipping those primary feathers to the same length as the shortest set of feathers, which is usually going to be in the middle area. And again, we go all the way up. Now this doesn't cause any pain to your guinea fowl and this 
will grow back in time. Their feathers are going to grow back. So it's not something that you have to worry about, but they don't grow back that fast. So what's actually good here is you don't have to trim them too often. We do it a couple times per year and we notice that they stay contained in our fenced in area. And as long as we're making sure that predators aren't getting or coming into that area, we're keeping it safe for them. We don't worry too much there. I hope that this was informative and we'll see you guys again next time. Bye.